Hi Cancer and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of March 11th through March 17th, 2019. I'm going to start your reading off by pulling a few cards to see what your overall energy is this week, Cancer. So let's see what the universe has in store for you guys. All right. Ooh, we got stones, unexpected treasure. So, Cancer, this week, there may be something that shows up quite unexpectedly, makes you very happy, but also this right here is um, sometimes a blessing in disguise, but with this card, it's finally seeing why something didn't work out because the new thing is coming in. The thing that was meant to be is coming in. The thing that truly is your happiness is finally coming in. So this coming out, um, very nice energy um, to start the week. So let's keep going and see what else shows up for you guys. All right, so we have delays. Trust and delays to your plans. Divine timing is at work. Blessing in disguise. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yes. Cancer. So, <laughs> blessing in disguise. I just said that right here. So, let me tell you. Um, with this, I feel, like I first said, um, something that did not work out. It's You're finding out why. Or this week, if there is something that just doesn't happen that you really wanted to happen, oh no, it is a blessing in disguise, Cancer. And believe me, something else is going to show up in its place that is much better. But that's blessing in disguise. I said it with this card. It's actually written on this one. To me, that's a huge synchronicity from Spirit that whatever, however you're resonating with this, oh my gosh, trust any sort of delay, blockage, prevention, it's a blessing in disguise. But this is delays. This isn't, no, it's never going to happen. There's a delay to plans or there is a delay which ultimately changes things but changes it all for the better. So, very nice energy. Let's keep going. Okay, so first quarter moon energy, it's time to realize how far you've come. You have accomplished more than you realize. So this to me is exactly what I just said. The realization of why something isn't working or didn't work out. It's like you're finally seeing the evidence. You're finally getting the clarity. There's finally new energies coming in and you're like, oh my gosh, ding, 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 ding. Or it's like this week something doesn't work out it, and it turns out like you're so happy because it's a true blessing in disguise and it just um, by week's end you're like you know what spirits got me like I just I feel really good that this did not work out like this other thing has now shown up like it's really good stuff cancer so let's add some more cards to this and dig a bit deeper this one um, flipped around and we have oh look at this the lovers Gemini this is balanced energy um, brilliant mind incredibly charming wonderful conversation so cancer it might be for some of you you want to have this conversation um, and it's just not happening it's just not happening trust that it's all about divine timing and you don't want to have any sort of conversation with anybody unless it's truly the right time and who knows when the right time is spirit all right um, but also with this um any sort of like delay in like a date or meeting up with somebody and trust 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 okay it's there's a reason for it here all right so cancer action energy the chariot this is your card in this deck and it says trust your intuition and act believe in your dreams tap into your spiritual gifts so cancer what this tells me is if you um whatever this is about if you get out of your head 
about it and, and not worry or be like, this should have happened or this. If you like get rid of all of that and just kind of go in to your inner self, it's like in through your intuition, boom, like lightning. It's just going to all make so much sense. And now we have Sagittarius, balanced energy, the temperance card, um, dimensional spiritual understanding, peacemaker, powerful healer. Yep, like I said, um, it's all about that intuition, Cancer. It's speaking to you. And, oh, look at this. More of your energy. The moon. Yes, more about intuition. The nurturer, the healer, empathic, sensitive soul, giving heart. Um, wow, I'm going to keep going with, oh my, are you kidding me? Uh, here's more of your energy. Uh, connection, happiness and celebration, emotional roots, three of cups, cancer. Wow. And lastly, third house, house of Gemini, learning, communication, curiosity, ace of swords. So uh, with all of this coming out, definitely um, all about communication conversations this week, okay? With this being here as delayed, um, I'm getting the sense like if this was like last week or a while back, like we've been trying to have this conversation, connect, wasn't happening, wasn't happening, wasn't happening, blessing in disguise because if it's finally coming in this week, this is the week for it with this spread. Um, you don't have one single distorted energy card, period, whatsoever. Cancer, like, honestly, this right here, um, the delays is the only card that, you know, could be a little eh, but what I see is whatever is delayed or blocked, it's truly a blessing for you. And aside from that, you are in great energy this week. There's deeper understanding coming in. Tap into your intuition. Really open your consciousness. Seek out spiritual outlets of information this week um, with all of this energy and the Sagittarius energy. And then, you know, Gemini. Gemini is the... Uh, like these two, Gemini and Sagittarius are, you know, connected. Gemini is like the learning, the communication, the understanding, third house. Sagittarius is the higher learning. So it's like the higher octave of the third house. You guys have that here. So it's like your understanding, like does a quantum jump, a quantum leap. Um, your intuition, it's like things that, I don't know, maybe you would normally be upset about whatever this is, but your intuition is so strong, like your spirit guide's coming in saying, don't stress, don't worry about this cancer. It's like really going to work out, blessing in disguise. And my God, like every card just reiterates that um, there's a deeper understanding. Really fall back on your intuition and your spirituality, what you know, and operate 1,000% from that space this week, especially in regards to romantic situations, all right, with the Gemini card here, the lovers, um, an unexpected treasure. Let your heart lead the way. Um, I don't feel like if anybody's like uh, canceling plans or I don't think they're blowing you off. It's really a matter of like universal alignment um, between you and this person and your different life paths and where you're at. And again, what's meant to be will be and spirit will align it. And when it aligns, you're going to be so happy that it all worked out the way that it did. Okay. Even if this isn't about a romantic relationship, if this is about something else ent different entirely, it, the same message applies. It's really like, um, what's meant to be will be blessings in disguise. And you finally realizing all the whys, the clarity coming in like lightning. It's just, it's fantastic and a beautiful card. So let's pull some tarot dice here. All right, we've got the uh, Queen of Swords. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles the Queen of Swords, and then we have the Five of Cups. 
so there could be where you were naturally going to go into some sadness about whatever this delay is, but it's no, do not, because there is blessing in disguise, unexpected treasure. Some of you, um, this could involve a Gemini, just because that energy is coming through so strongly. Um, could be a fellow Cancer. Um, we do have this Ace, this Queen of Swords, Gemini. There's that Gemini again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo over here. So listen, Cancer. Um, don't get caught up in your head, okay? Don't uh, feel sad, feel worried. It's like this is all so divine and divinely orchestrated and it's, you know, it's going to work out. It's like um, we're stuck in our head about this, so we're going to start feeling um, a lot of sadness and spinning stories when the truth is all is well and we need to focus on um, like the divine order of things rather than being caught up in the humanized details of everyday life and how we want things to work out and flow for ourselves okay this is like spirit saying cancer I got you I got you there's something you need to learn there's something you need to understand there's a conversation for some of you that's going to unfold this week and it's really going to help you get to this place of feeling grounded stable secure once again um, those of you where this is like something to do with job or finances it's like um, whatever you've been working at keep at it even though there may be a delay because you've made more progress than you realize it's all about timing we're in a retrograde right now not a good time to start new things when it's a mercury retrograde so just hold tight cancer because it's all truly going to work out for you blessing in disguise like that's what I'm titling your reading because I felt it here came out as a confirmation and then I see it all through your cards like all is well don't get caught up in your head no reason for sadness things are going to stabilize and work out so those are your messages cancer oops you know what I was just about done but nope I have a couple more cards to pull sorry about that that was just so thorough um we'll pull an outcome outcome card and a an advice card okay let's see outcome we have oh yeah look at that the rainbow promise kept things are going to work out cancer do not worry and look at your advice night sky special moment this to me is spirit saying you don't want anything before it's due you really don't or it like the magic is not the same so trust delays trust any blockage anything it's really going to work out in your favor and be even more magical than you anticipated okay so those are your messages cancer and on that note i will wish you all the best take care